It's the 25th anniversary of Magic the Gathering. Happy birthday. So to celebrate, we asked Joseph Gordon-Levitt to come in and have a magic moment with us. He said, I will do you one better. I have a box of magic cards that I have not opened in years. And we said, don't tell us what's in it. Just come in and we're gonna open it and experience the moment together. Maybe play a little magic. Let's see what happens. just appeared is that what happened we did I okay. guess it was it was like a Melier magic moment <laughs> there when I was a little boy I would dream of being able to do special effects like that really is, well, yeah. is, is there one that you still haven't gotten to do that you really want to do no I think I've, I've done all of them now all of them I know I might as well just die oh man <laughs> well we have the budget I think I think wizards will give us the budget if like you if you just like want to incinerate or something okay so, or if you want to you know, like Jace Bellerin and no. Should I? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Pretty cool. Magic. That this is where great. the magic happens. <laughs> you did that on purpose. I did. It was a really good transition. It was. I'm proud of myself. Uh, so you are a longtime magic player, and you said that you have something yeah, cool. Yeah, I do. I do. I'm excited. To yeah? look. I'm actually really excited to look at this. I just spent yesterday feverishly looking for these, and I was actually worried for a couple hours that I'd lost them. But oh um, my gosh. I didn't lose them, thank God. There's another one. And the binder with the with the nice, the fancy cards. I haven't opened these boxes or this binder in I actually don't know how many years. I have a lot of memories about what's inside of here, but uh, I haven't looked in a long this time. This is such a time capsule. That's exactly what right it is, yeah, here. yeah. I'm surprised that there's no, the, the S, the little S's that, that we used to draw. Yeah, yeah. It right? looks like a lot of that sort mm -hmm. of writing. You guys have, I mean, can you can you see this? It says Joey GL. <laughs> <laughs> is that how you were addressed? You your preferred. I was form of Joey. Address back then, Joey. Yeah, from age like probably seven to roughly seventeen, everyone called me Joey. So yeah, yeah. You're Joe now, regular Joe. Right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. These days, I usually say Joe. So for this one, can because we're going back in time, can I call you Joey? Yes, yes. You, <laughs> that's really awesome. funny, and yeah, sure. We're taking it back to mm -hmm. Magic playing Joey GL. Mm -hmm. So what? is in the boxes. If I remember right, I had four decks that were like my creations. Mm -hmm. You had killer decks. Yeah, I had one I would call like a really killer deck. I, I put most of my effort into like the one kind of very ambitious masterpiece deck, which might or might not have been as effective as the red lightning bolt deck, which is like easier to make, but would maybe win more often because it's sort of, it's a red lightning bolt deck. Do they right. still have lightning bolts? There is still lightning bolt, but mm -hmm. a lot of lightning bolt like things. Uh -huh. All lightning bolt party. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's really awesome. And <laughs> so you, you had a couple of, of choice decks and you, did you play just with friends? Did you ever go down to your local game store? I didn't start right at the very beginning. Like there was still the, the storied older sets, the Black yeah. Border like Beta set or even the Alpha set, or um, there was Arabian Nights and Legends were the expansion sets that came out before I got into it. And when I got into it, it was the dark was what was out. What got you into magic? What made you It was my D&D &D friends. Yeah? It was D&D &D that I got into first. M once my friends started getting into magic and once I started getting into it, I was like, actually, there really is something uniquely creative about this that's different than D&D. Um, because the, the structure that the cards lend gives you sort of creative constraints. And sometimes when you're trying to be creative, constraints is exactly what you need. If you're just looking at a blank page, and you're like, tell a story about anything. Sometimes you can be like, well, I don't know, what should I tell a story about? But when there's cards like that, um, then all sorts of stories start just coming up that you're you know, inspired to think of from the cards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are, is there a character from Magic that you would want to play in D&D? That's a funny question. I don't think we ever did that. Um, back then, they used to call the prodigal sorcerer Tim, which was a Monty Python reference. Right, Tim the saying. Enchanter. Yeah, yeah, there yeah, are yeah. some who yeah. call me Tim. Yeah, yeah, okay, so yeah. you know the reference. Oh yeah, yeah. I, okay. I'm a huge Python fan. Okay, the prodigal sorcerer, everyone used to call him Tim. You could totally translate Tim 
into a D&D character. For sure. And, the and person who can like remotely just cause you damage without you ever noticing or getting a, like a chance to take your own shot back at him. It's yeah. sort of a passive aggressive move, but what I remember most about playing D&D or playing Magic is my friends, right? Because mm -hmm. ultimately it's not really about these things, it's about the connection that they I, can. I would not be playing this in a vacuum now. Even though once I got into it, I would spend hours by myself putting together decks, but the whole time I'm like waiting to show my friends and yeah. play against my friends with this, you know, with, with my new deck or whatever. Um, but I, I think that these these games really impacted all of my creative sensibilities. Yeah. I, I bet I wouldn't have made it record if it hadn't been for playing D and D and Magic. Oh I my bet. god, that makes yeah. me, that makes me really. It's probably happy. true though. I mean, yeah, because that hit record is all about okay, we're online and we're being creative, but not just for the sake of being like, hey world, look at me, look at my thing that I made. Please give me your hearts and your thumbs up because it's all about me and what I made. Because online culture can be that way. Sometimes. Um, sometimes. <laughs> but that's the thing is if you choose your tribe yeah. online and choose your community, you can choose to be part of something like Hit Record or a lot of the Magic the Gathering and Dungeons and Dragons community that I know yeah. that is aggressively kind and positive and, and, wants, communal, yeah. and wants new ideas and new voices mm -hmm. to come join them and play. So that, and that's, those are exactly the principles that we try to embody on a platform. One of the reasons that I started playing Magic on the show was I was learning actively from a friend. Mm -hmm. um, and he was like, let me teach you Magic. Mm -hmm. And we streamed it here live. So I made a lot, a lot of mistakes of Magic the <laughs> Gathering mm -hmm. live in front of an audience. Learning, right? Right also, there, there's a Magic the Gathering online game, and so we were able oh, to take right. people from our com online community mm -hmm. and say, okay, here's our screen name, come just play a game with us. That's fun. Yeah. Wow, I've never played it online. There's a, different barriers to, mm -hmm. to entry for whatever reason. If you can't sit down with somebody and play this game, you can play with them online, and that is just makes my heart feel good. Yeah, likewise. Yeah. That's really great. So I feel like it's... Time to crack the seal. Time to open it's, them? It's, it's, okay, I'm, so I'm excited. excited. Uh, I, I'm <laughs> hesitant to like, open this, but there might be D&D characters in here. Should okay, I open see. it? Yeah, yeah. All okay, right. let's, yeah, let's, let's. Yes, yeah. this is. This is a D&D character right here. Wow. Oh my gosh. Her name is Alanis. She's an elf, a mage thief. She has an 18 dexterity, which means she's fast oh, wow. as hell. Oh wow, yeah, that is, that is. She has a there. short sword, plus three, plus three, and that can cure light, cure light. Cure light wounds? Yeah, I guess cure light wounds. I was abbreviating yeah. cure light wounds sure. once a day. But uh, Joey knew what you meant. Joey definitely did. Her alignment was CN, which stands for chaotic neutral. This is amazing and blows my mind because <laughs> I also have like old notebook paper mm -hmm. with, with characters that I made up. Yeah. But then I got into magic a lot later. So honestly. you're new to magic I'm, I'm and I'm school. the old school. Okay, so yeah. will you, you might not even know these cards. No, so I'm really excited okay, to look at, okay, look at okay. them. I had a weird thing when I was playing because I was already acting. So I had more money than my friends yeah. did, mm -hmm. but it, it wouldn't have been fun to just like spend tons of money and like be able to beat all my friends right. with like all the fancy cards. And like the one time I was like, but f it, I'm gonna buy the moxes. <laughs> and so I did. And so I have, yeah. So and have all but these. I traded one of them, Sapphire, so these are Ruby, now. and Jet. So I traded my Pearl. I don't remember where. Or what I what got did you for, trade it. for it. Yeah. I don't remember what I got for my Mox Pearl. That's too bad. I should remember that. I'm sure I got ripped off. Well, you have <laughs> all these other Moxes. This, I think, was actually the first rare card that I remember pulling this. So I didn't, you bought I, this? Yeah, no, I didn't I didn't buy this as a single card. I pulled this out of uh yeah. Booster pack of the revise of, of third edition and you usually are like, you can count on getting like one really rare card in mm -hmm. a whole box of those. And I was like, what am I gonna get? It's am I gonna get a Royal Assassin? Yeah. Am I gonna get a Shiva Dragon? I got a Nightmare, which is dope, and probably why I always, um, you know, sort of lean towards playing black, because I had a Nightmare. Oh. Which is, just means that the more swamps you have, the bigger this Nightmare horse gets, and it flies. So did you build a deck around that? At that time, I did. I, I don't think any of my later decks, which is what's what's in these boxes, revolved around Nightmare. I did have a, like a big, good black deck for a while with this guy and the Sanger Vampires and the Nether Shadows and Dark Rituals and all that stuff. Um, I wonder if that deck's still in here. That would be, that deck might, 
Can I open this yeah, box yeah, and see yeah. if this is in here? Let's see if it's in there. I'm curious if that stayed alive. You think it's in that one? These look like the ducks. This looks like, this is just extra stuff. Oh, wow. So I think these are probably the decks. It's really funny. This is that. Oh, okay, wow. this is that. De yeah, 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 yeah. Demonic tutor. I think they took the pentacle awesome. off of this guy. This is what? the. Yeah, they probably the want to stay away from, from imagery Satan. that that yeah. people might get a little spooked by. Yeah, well. I think it's metal. There's nothing, metal AF. Nothing that much worse about a pentagram <laughs> than any other symbol yeah. that you might name. Let's see. I agree. Black Knight, yeah, so the black deck. This is so strong. this is your awesome this is my black, deck. black deck. I probably have a proxy in here for the Nightmare because the Nightmare obviously right. belongs in here. Yeah. I don't know why, this is like a really common card, but maybe sort of my favorite. I just love the art of it. I love the idea of a r ritual is like, speaking of like incorporating how I came to think of creativity, ritual is a big part of it. Repetition, you know, having a ritual around your creativity. And so a dark ritual, which also just allows you to act really fast, if you have this in your opening hand and you can get three mana right away before anybody else has any land out. Who did you play with? I mostly played with a certain friend group. It was Nick and Ian and Jesse. Mostly those three guys. Bobby also, sometimes Riley. And it would be at sleepovers. And it would, you know, involve Pizza Hut and Weezer. Magic and D&D &D and staying up really late and just playing and playing and playing. The last time I played Magic was probably four or five years ago. It wasn't with these cards though. It was um, someone that, that worked at Hit Record. Her, she, her name's Abigail. And like, she and I would talk about it at the office. I'd be like, we have to play sometime. So at Sundance, when she had brought her cards and we stayed up and played. Um, yeah, I remember there was some kind of argument about the behavior of Nether Shadows and whether they were, whether you could, you know, the difference between buried and removed from game entirely and the difference actually made a big, um, impact on who won the game. I hope I wasn't too bossy, but I think I also was right. But. I, I love this. There was like the, the Sundance, at, the cool Sundance after party it is was. arguing about Magic the Gathering. It was, and the difference between buried and removed from game entirely. I don't know if those are still terms nowadays, but there's this a difference. Yeah. Um, so what's the oh, so this mirror is universe? Wow, forgot about this. This, this is the Tim deck. This was really my masterpiece. This is like my fun black deck, mm -hmm. and then I think this, which I didn't even put into sleeves, is my like cheesy lightning bolt deck, which was probably really effective. Yeah, that's more of my style. Right on. Like, well, this, this, will, this probably won as often, if not more often, than the Tim deck, even though the Tim deck I spent much more time and care on. This would be like making a superhero movie versus making like uh, an art art house movie, you know. <laughs> but if you like playing red and you like chaos, I I think what we maybe ought to do is play the Tim deck versus the lightning bolt deck. Ooh. Cause I mean, I bet you you'll actually win because that thing moves so fast, you'll probably just kill me before I'm able to like get my shit out. Okay. Um, yours I think has a mox ruby, it, yeah, which is it this. Did. Oh. So this is very valuable. Yes. This is Those cards sense. don't have sleeves is the thing. So. <laughs> I'm gonna take Joey, this. Joey, why? <laughs> okay, you can take that out then. Take it, out. take it out. I mean, Ooh. if you can't play with it, then. I am the kind of person that pulls my action figures out to play with them. Yeah. So, right. I, mean, I mean, for me, games are meant to be played with they are meant and to be loved, and that comics is, are meant to be read. That is but, a lot of money. But at like, the same you know. time, this is an extremely rare card that is very highly sought after. <sighs> okay, I'm going to shuffle them. Yeah. Not the, not the riffle shuffle. Like, yeah, I will yeah. not riffle shuffle All or right. bridge. Okay. And hope hope that it is sufficient. All right, should we roll? Okay, yeah. Oh, okay. 19. So you are going first. Nice. All right. So this is how you keep scoring out. Right. We used to write it down with just pencil Did you and really? paper. Yeah. This is a smart with way to do it. We would have a d20 around. I don't know why we didn't do this. So just seven. Mm-hmm. One. So I uh, am excited because this six. is gonna probably be slightly different than the kind of magic games that I've played before. So yeah, right, gonna... you won't know these cards. So yeah. all right, I'm, I'm at a bit of a home field advantage, yeah. I guess, because we're playing with my cards. Yeah, you are first. All right, Sarah. I'm first. Okay, so I put out a Tundra. This is a dual land, uh, white and blue. Ooh. And I even have a one mana card, which is a really good thing to play first. <gasps> this is, uh, this is uh, how am I gonna get enough life on my 20 sided die, so I get I get a life point every time oh, I have cards right. well, above four. We have four. all these other cool. dice here if you want to add in and. Uh, yeah, that's one. it. I'm done. Okay, cool. I will draw. 
Oh, cool. Yeah, some of these some of these are still around, but the uh -huh. art is vastly different. Oh, um, so yeah, that's yeah, giving yeah. me a clue as to what you probably have. But you don't know what's around. You probably right have a now. fireball. You maybe have a lightning bolt. Do what I? else would be? Do some I? Goblins, maybe a vice. So I'm gonna put out this mountain. Nice black border yeah, beta mountain. Yeah, look at this. And then I'm going to put out an ornithopter, which is free. Yeah, nice. And then I'm gonna tap my land, and I have an artifact out, the Black Vice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you have more than four cards in hand during your upkeep, he does one damage. That's funny, because these are like the mirror That's image cards of each other, there. in a way. That's really good. Okay, are you done? Yes, I'm, I am done. Okay, so at the beginning of my hand, then, I take one damage from him, but yes. I get one damage from her. Um, all right. I guess uh, all I can really do now is this. Yeah. Ooh, what is that? It's pretty. It's yes, something beautiful. that might come in later once I have a bunch of stuff in my graveyard. I'm gonna put down a land, and then Brass Man. And oh, he, I forgot he, about him. he does not untap as normal, mm -hmm. I so I can pay uh, one colorless to untap it. Mm -hmm. You're right, There, this is a really fast, yeah. satisfying deck, <laughs> if you will. Okay, so I'm just gonna put out uh, the Fountain of Youth, wow. which is, yeah, pay two and tap it and, mm -hmm. and gain one oh, life right. whenever I want. Your turn. Done, all right. I said it was a Tim deck, and there's Tim. <laughs> I love his hat. <laughs> He'll kill you slowly. Great. Is what he'll do. Good. Okay. <laughs> All right. So the plot thickens, I suppose. <laughs> okay. I'm done. Okay. All right. And tap. Put out a tog. I guess each time you use this ability, you must sacrifice one of your artifacts in play. So mm. I, I have. There are a lot of artifacts mm -hmm. out. So if I ever want to sack one, then mm -hmm. I can just bump him. Mm -hmm. I will attack with Brass Man. I take it. All right. Very exciting. Okay. This is a weird, cool land that will, for now, amaze your Brass Man or your Atog if you decide to attack me again. Oh. But um, I said it was a Tim deck. Oh There's my goodness. There's only four of these in here, but there, those are two of them. And I'm done. I won't start damaging you with <gasps> oh, him no. until, until it's your turn. I'm going to tap and put out Howling Mine. Oh. Yeah, so we must draw one extra card during the draw phase. This combo is uh, the deadly combo. Yeah. That's what I can do for right now. Okay. Well, then, before you end of your turn, I do you one damage. Oh, gosh. With I tap him, and he just does one damage to any target. Just, so that's oh, you. Oh, goodness. All okay. right. And I'll then I untap. Um, I just drew a mox. This is exciting. I never usually um, play with these. It's always proxies, so it's like fun to actually see when it's sort of thrilling. That's so pretty. It's very pretty. <gasps> that means that now I can put out my pirate ship, which is just an expensive Tim. <gasps> and uh, that's it, I'm done. So I'm putting out this soul ring, and I can add two colorless mana to my mana pool. Nice. Where are all the lightning bolts? Is yeah. This, is this not a lightning bolt this deck? Am I wrong? Another, is this my artifact deck? This this might be an artifact deck. I intended it to be Tim versus lightning bolt. <laughs> oh, I uh, promised you lightning, and there's no it's, lightning. It's Atogs and soul rings. I have a lot of things. And speaking of soul rings, I'm gonna tap this um, for two extra mana. And I'm gonna put out Dwarven Weapons Smith. During your upkeep, add a plus one, plus one to this creature. Anytime you use this ability, you must sacrifice one of your artifacts in play. Well, so you have artifacts to sacrifice. I, um, I'm gonna put out another one, Glasses of Urza, and I'm gonna look at your hand. It's an Ice Age Tim. Oh boy! <laughs> Useful! It's Tim by another name. That is me. Before the end of your turn, I hit you for two. Yeah, yeah. And then I untap. Uh, this, 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 for the fourth Tim. That's a very impressive Tim. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I wonder if I should actually just attack you, even though this is more powerful. Oh, no, because you might, you, that Atog could actually yeah. kill this guy, yeah. so I won't. We I'll haven't really been attacking each other very much. This is sort of a... I know, you could have you attacked me with that Atog. I, I, I could have. And then I'm gonna put a... One, one on Ornithopter. So I will get rid of Glasses of Urza. And now my little Ornithopter has fighting capabilities. Indeed. And I'm gonna put out another Atog. I'm gonna swing at you with an Atog and the Ornithopter. Okay, then I will uh, use the maze on the Atog. Mm -hmm. So the Atog untaps. Okay. And I'll 
kill the Ornithopter. Oh, he served valiantly. <laughs> so what, what is Tim doing this turn? Well, he killed the, these three killed the Ornithopter, and this one has summoning sickness. Ah, also so has summoning sickness. Draw two, right? Ooh, fun. Oh, what was this again? I'm actually not gonna do anything right now. Anything? Nope. I'm gonna chill. Okay. I'm gonna wait. That's really deeply unsettling. <laughs> it is deeply unsettling. I'm going to sack Fountain of Youth and put a 1-1 one, one on one of the Atogs. I cast Strip Mine, which is a land, and then finally get my Juggernaut out. Uh-oh, Jug. And I'm going to sacrifice my Strip Mine and destroy that maze. Very smart, this just got interesting. Okay. Brassman is not been doing much, so I'm gonna sacrifice him and uh, bump this guy to add two two. So it's four five. Four five. Coming at and then me. And this one's still one two. So I'm down so to fifteen. Okay. So you're actually winning. Four now. But it's your now. turn. Yeah. Before the end of your turn, I'll kill your uh, dwarf master thing. No, I can't keep pumping up my guys. Then I untap one, two, one of these, and. Another Tim. There are four Tims in your deck, and you have three of them out. I know, and then it's a true. fancy Tim. And then a uh, less than fancy Tim. And then a. Well, are you talking about the pirate ship? That yeah. is a fancy Tim. And fancy a fancy Tim. Tim, you're right. And then a not so fancy. Yeah, like the kind of. Average the, Tim. Yeah, <laughs> the wannabe Tim. <laughs> That'll do it for me. Awesome. Got it. And put out another Atog. Damn. A lot of, got a lot of Atogs mm -hmm. on the board. Mm -hmm. I'm going to swing at the Juggernaut, and that is for 5 3. All right. I'll kill the Juggernaut. Okay, done? I am done. Before the end of your turn, I hit you for one yes. with my pirate ship. Okay. okay, untapping. I now have five freaking Tims. You're gonna die soon. Tims. Yeah, you're, it's, it's the slow Draw burn. <laughs> if there had been a deck that had ramped early and had a bunch of creatures out That's early, what I thought yeah, was gonna happen. Yeah, that's gonna happen. I'm gonna call it done for now. Okay. I'm gonna put out the Mineral's Disc. Um, it destroys all creatures, enchantments, <laughs> and artifacts of play. Including the disc itself. Oh, watch this. Mana Drain. This is. Mana Drain's a fancy counter spell where I get all that mana. Take uh, shit away. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> Joey. Joey. I guess I'm gonna swing in with, with all the ATOGs. Swing with all of them. Yeah. I think I'm gonna elect to let those ATOGs through. All of them. Yeah, because okay. I'm gonna start hitting you instead of your creatures. So that. Is two, three, four, five. So are, are you done? Uh, I am done. Okay, so before the end of your Except turn, that all the I'll hit you for five. Come at me. Uh, I am at 11. eleven. I just drew this crazy card. What is it? Well, let's see. With this, with the four plus these two, I'm gonna cast a mirror universe. This, what um, is that? you sacrifice it, and uh, we switch lives. What? Yeah. Oh man. They so don't call just... it legends for nothing. Whoa, uh, so I just gotta hit you and have that be the and end just, of it. And just know that that's, yeah. that's a possibility. And then I'm gonna cast this guy, Demonic Tutor, Whoa. which lets me go into my deck and pick something. What am I gonna pick to ruin your Atogs? Um, yeah, I'm gonna take this. Okay, I think, uh, I think that's it. Interesting. Okay. That out, and then Zurn Orb just goes out. Sacrifice a land to gain two life. Oh damn! Yeah. Damn, damn. That's good. Add to my army of eight. Oh, you have as many eight talks as I have ten. I know, right? I'm gonna swing with these. Yeah, I'm gonna let him in. Oh no. oh no, oh <laughs> no. Why did I do that? Are you done? I am done, yeah. I think yeah. you're about to lose, actually. Yeah. So first, um, before the end of your turn, I've got to uh, oh, disenchant right. that um, orb. My orb? Yeah. I just... And then I'm going to do four damage to myself. So take me down to oh my God. one. And then my turn, use the mirror universe. <laughs> to switch our lives. Ah! <laughs> so I am at one. You're at one, and You're I'm at 11. 11. And I just so happen to have a few creatures laying around that can do one damage to anybody, and I'll let Tim do the honors. Oh, boy. That was a closer game than I thought it was going to be. Woo! The Atog deck came very close to beating the Tim deck. 
Well done, sir. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> it's a master I, I thought at first, like, oh no, I gave her the weird quirky deck. She's like not gonna stand a chance. And then you really came close to beating me, actually. That was a joy. Thank and you so much. Thank you. This was super, super fun. Yeah. I haven't seen these cards in so many years, and I'm glad I got to kind of document the crazy, like, <laughs> time capsule nostalgia of it. Yeah, uh, anytime you want to sit down for a match, let me know. Thank awesome. you so much, Thank you. Joey. Joey, right. Yeah. Joey. Thank you so much, Joey. Joey GL. Wow. I got to know Joey GL through his magic cards. That was incredible. I don't know what to do with myself. Incinerate me! Woo! That was awesome! Him as an old school player, me as a new school player, and there are so many ways to connect with friends over magic. You can play one on one, you can play Friday Night Magic, you can play online with Magic the Gathering Arena. So thank you for joining me for this magic moment.